Hi guys, welcome back. So today is the first demo of the new Starjoy Gold Edition pencils. I thought about doing a swatch sheet and to be perfectly honest, I have swatched these pencils so many times that I could not imagine having to do another video and another 120 swatches on these pencils. I thought I was gonna lose my mind, which is very easy to do these days. So instead of that, I wanted to do a demo showing you the possibilities of what these pencils can do. When I was first curating this set and I was sent so many swatches and cores to look at and choose from, I went with the colors that I felt a beginner that was just starting in their journey in art would need. So I had to put the, the basics into this set and they're all there. Then I thought to myself, well, pumpkin orange. I could have put a pumpkin orange into this set, but I'm putting in Sienna Brown and I'm putting in carrot orange. Together, they make pumpkin orange. So I was able to subtract colors that are easily creatable and I will just educate you on how to create the colors that are not in the set because they're so easily creatable. So I was very careful about the way I curated this set. I also put in colors that I knew would blend seamlessly into each other, our analogous colors. They don't take much effort. This was the first time that I'm actually doing a picture with the pencils. I took it for a test drive, so this is the first and only as of this video, picture ever created using these pencils. Just because he hides it in the back, I'm not gonna find his pickles. Yes, folks, we just had the argument of whether or not he's ever gonna eat a pickle again. And there they are. He thinks he's gonna get away with this. I might be five feet tall. I might have trouble seeing to the back of our refrigerator and even reaching to the back of our refrigerator, but I could see those pickles. about and I think you guys will too is they're easily erasable. I had no problems with my um, AFMAT eraser getting it almost pure white and that was even after I burnished. I was extremely happy with that because I could show you how to do highlights that are really cool using the eraser but sometimes with heavily waxed pencils they don't it kind of glops it doesn't get off. These pencils, you're going to be amazed at how wonderfully they erase. This is the first 54 pencils, and we have a lot more to use, but those are the trios that I had put together, and so you could see some of the color variations. Um, it goes even deeper if you skip one and then use the next pencil, or use four. A, a couple of them I used four, but so far so good, and... The next group, they don't, uh, they blend into other colors, of course, but they're like red, orange, yellow, green, blue. So I'm going to use them from like in little details around the picture instead of doing big objects with them. And then I'm going to pick up pencils that go with them. So those will be the 
jeweled colors that I'll be getting on next. <music> After three layers, I had a really, really good lay down on it. These are oil pencils, so remember the colors are created by going on top of each other, not blending so much with the pencil like cake batter, but laying them down like cellophane on top of each other. And I created, um, not in this video, I'm not going to show it to you, but in my next video where I use markers with these pencils, I created some really nice effects just by putting marker over these pencils because marker is a blendable material with um, oil pencils. It works with um, wax pencils also, but not as well with the... Um, the way it comes out with oil pencils. And I'm going to be able to show you that too. So I was really pleased with that. I also, what I liked about it is my white pencil went over it beautifully. I used a, the Holbein White, um, which is one of several pencils that I suggest you using. And it went beautifully, very opaque over the top. Now, I also recommend Derwent Chinese White, the Holbein White. I Prismacolor white. Just don't try it. I mean, you can try it. Okay. Just, I don't recommend the white pencil that's in any budget set. Luminesce is good. Higher end. So I definitely proved my point in the way I highlighted this picture. And it was very simple to do. I found that the tips lasted pretty much average. The pencil did not wear down quickly. I finished two pictures already with it, and I basically have my whole pencils left. I, nothing was running down. I've made it through two trays so far. I am so into adding brown into this picture. I have missed it, and browns come in the last tray. I am so excited. This is when I'm going to make this picture pop, because you can't have candy without chocolate. It just isn't legal. So here's the game plan. I'm starting my pastel colors, so I've left a lot of the room on the picture uh, for the pastels because I want to get those really beautiful colors. Then I get to start moving into the rich browns and the chocolate. Color correct some of the things on it that I want to dull down, brighten up, and then I move into my shadow colors and the picture should be almost there and then I get to do the details and that's always fun. Now a couple of people asked me about replacement pencils and I did say that there was it was in the works and you will be able to get replacement pencils for this set. The way we're gonna we designed it is everything that you need is in this set. Every color to create other colors is in this set. And in fact, I'm going to show you over the next few weeks how to create just about every color that Prismacolor and Polychromos puts out by using these pencils. It was that was a big thing for me. Make them create other colors. So I'm gonna be able to show you that also.
I used inexpensive paper. I used the Nene Bristol vellum, which goes through my printer very nicely. I never have any problems with it. It's 65 pound. I don't buy it on the internet. I just go into Office Max or Office Depot, whatever's near you as far as your office supply places, and they're usually carrying this paper. Uh, you probably can get it on Amazon too. I just, that's not where I buy my paper. So that's the paper I used for this picture. And then I did a picture in Color It. Now they're paper is beautiful. It's a smoother paper. It is my mixed media go-to. If I feel like playing, I go straight to the Color It books because I know that that book can take it and take it good. And it's very smooth when it comes to marker. So when I combined them with the marker, it was, I, I was so thrilled at what I was able to, to produce with this. And as I said, that'll be in the next video. Now, somebody else asked me about water solubility, and I'm going to say yes, they're slightly water soluble um, because I don't want to come out and say no, they're not. What you can do and what I suggest you do with all budget pencils is use your watercolor pencils first, activate them, let it dry, and then go over it with your oil or your wax pa um, pencils. That's really the way it should be done. You don't want to be adding water to wax. It doesn't work. And with these, you do get a little bit. But I will be happy to say these did not budge when I spray sealed it. So these are safe for spray sealing. When you spray seal a picture, you want to do your first layer about 12 inches from the paper. You don't want to concentrate your spray in one spot. Once you get that first layer down, you're good to go. You can go a little bit closer if you want to get a higher shine, but you, you want to be able to seal it in nicely without soaking the paper. If your paper starts to curl when you're sealing it, you're putting too much too fast. Light layers works best. And speaking of light layers, these pencils should be used with light layers. Um, all oil pencils um, or pencils in general work the best when you build them up. And that's what these pencils were beautifully. This probably has about five to six layers, I would guess. And then just I could have kept on doing more. In fact, I would have liked to have uh, used the gray a little bit more on it, but I ran out of time. It goes to a really nice, beautiful, high shine burnish, which I was really excited about. You are even gonna be able to see it while I'm coloring. If the light hits it in the right place, it just brightens and shines. So I was really happy about that. In this picture, I used every pencil in the box. And I just wanted to let you know, no pencil was left untouched. And everyone performed beautifully. So some of my favorite ones, and I'm going to tell you, Good Earth, the pencil that's named Good Earth, and the pencil named Barbecue are probably some of my top pencils. Carrot, Orange. Um, I really loved the Sunshine Dawn. was really nice. The aquamarine is a beautiful color. So these are some of my favorite ones that came out. I can tell you the Sienna Brown I used a lot of. Um, it mixes really well, but I could see people running out of Good Earth and Barbecue really quickly. Um, some of the purples, too, were just... I created some blue-purple color that... I can't wait to do the color blending video for you guys and show you what I created um, using these pencils, and that's coming up soon. Now, when are these pencils going to be available? It's now set in stone. I can give you all the information now. The pencils went out. They're on the way to Amazon. At the, they should be there, Andy said, at the end of the month. And then Amazon said that we can start pre-sales. I'm going to recommend 
that if you are buying this for the Christmas season, get it at pre-sale. Because our pre-sale price, now we've marked these at, I think it was $45 for the set, which is definitely within the budget range, but you will be getting a discount on it, especially through the holiday season. Andy is giving a special discount to my subscribers that will work with my link. It'll be at least a 20%. I believe it's 20% off. And then he'll be, you know, running sales and hot flash sales where they, they, they're on sale for a couple of hours. And, um, you know, all the fun stuff that happens during the Christmas season, we'll be able to do that. But I believe the highest price point that we're that that Andy said was going to be at forty four ninety five, so that was a, a big question: is what is this set going to cost? And uh, this is priced budget. That was really the first thing Andy and I discussed was producing an affordable set that the coloring community can use to learn. So this picture was by Desi of Digital Morning, and it's on sale now for $1.50. Now, I've had this picture for a long time. It was worked out with Desi long ago that I was going to be using this picture. And I will leave a link to her Etsy shop. Uh, she's got a lot of really cute things, uh, digital pictures, and I'll leave a link in the description where you can get this specific picture if you want to color it also. So that is our first picture, taking these pencils for a test drive. I'm sure people will be doing individual swatching um, of the colors. I'm sure that that's going to come up when people, you know, do videos about these pencils. As I said, it was just, I've done it once too many times and I needed to take these pencils out and actually do art with them to test it. So... I will see you guys in a couple days for my next picture, and that will be using these with mixed media. And I will see you in my next video. Take care, guys.